Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. This is Pradeep and you're watching Vlog of Note. So I'm incredibly sick of Samsung and their Exynos processors. And I know from reading the comments that a lot of you guys feel the same way. They keep shoving it down our throats, even with the Samsung Galaxy S20 Fan Edition. So when we had some news about the MediaTek Dimensity 1000C processor, I was interested. Here's everything you need to know. Let's get started. So first off, how did this come about? I read some news about the T-Mobile LG Velvet phone having the MediaTek Dimensity 1000C processor. Now I know what you're thinking, didn't we just have an LG Velvet? Well, that LG Velvet was powered by the Snapdragon 765G. Now this one is powered by the MediaTek Dimensity 1000C series of processors. What's the difference between the specifications? Well, the battery is a little bit smaller at only 4000 mAh. Apart from that, it still has as 5G. So I went over to the MediaTek website and checked out the processor. Here are the three main features. The first one, it has 5G. I know a lot of you are super excited about the technology. So yeah, there is that. But however, it's also power efficient 5G. Because when you take the Snapdragon 76 5G, it has an integrated 5G modem. However, the flagship Snapdragon 86 5G does not have an integrated 5G modem. Don't ask me, I think it was because Snapdragon was just in too much of a hurry. The second major advantage is that it supports dual display. Now I don't know where you come down on the whole dual display technology thing, but I think that folding displays are just too expensive and dual displays are a good interim solution. Now this supports dual display, but more importantly, it also supports 120Hz at only full HD+, however. It also supports the AV1 codec. Now there's a lot of discussion about AV1 and VP9, Apple and Google, but however, AV1 is more widely accepted and also it supports upscaling of SDR content to HDR content. The third important feature, it supports ALEXA and the Google Assistant at the same time with both trigger words being supported. However, although it can do this, I wouldn't hold your breath because both of these companies aren't in a good place when it comes to relationships right now. Now I know what you're asking me, what about these four Cortex A77 cores and the four Cortex A55 cores? What's the Geekbench score? Well, it has a single core score of about 769 and a multi-core score of about 2700. That's slightly faster or as fast as the Exynos 990. However, it's still slower than the Snapdragon 865 or the 865 Plus but it is faster than the Snapdragon 765G and the Snapdragon 855 Plus. Now, what's the effect of a MediaTek 1000C Dimensity processor? Well, just a few days back, Snapdragon has announced that they're going to bring affordable 5G to their 4 series of processor. So the industry benefits because of more competition. Right now, in the smartphone space, you have the Apple A series of processors, which are really, really fast. And then you have Snapdragon, which is not as fast. However, they're completely monopolizing the industry. And then you have Samsung with their trashy nose series of processors. You also used to have Huawei with their Kirin series of processors, but I don't think they're going to sustain much longer. Now, it's interesting to see MediaTek, a Taiwanese company, I'll remind you, enter the lineup with the Dimensity 1000C. And I think that you guys should definitely keep an eye on this one. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. As always, please go over to YouTube and subscribe to the Blog of Note channel. Ring that notification bell so that you never miss a video and I will see you guys in the next episode.